episode of Toy Box Movie Reviews is brought to you by Eternal Curse. Not a fan of either romance or fantasy stories, Toy Thomas's debut novel Eternal Curse combined these two styles to hold my attention from beginning to end. Author Neil James. Eternal Curse is the story of a man who may just be the answer to a spiritual war swiftly heading his way, but for now he just wants to be a man. Eternal Curse Giovanni's Angel, available online and wherever books are sold. Hello and welcome to Toy Box Movie Reviews. Today I will be re reviewing the movie Timer. Um, this review will consist of me asking myself 10 questions and answering them to the best of my ability. So let's go ahead and get started. First, what is the film about? Timer is a science fiction romantic comedy. I almost thought about leaving it at that and let you wonder what that was about, but I won't. In this movie, the technology to determine love and soulmates um, has been developed and it's been manufactured into a countdown clock that gets embedded into your skin. Um, the movie follows two stepsisters, um, focusing on one in particular, as they wait and hope for um, their timers to zero out, putting them face to face with true love. Unfortunately, since the timer tells you exactly when you're supposed to meet your soulmate, these two women never get a chance to experience things like uh, young love or first love and so on. It is actually quite funny when you think about it, but it's kind of sad too. Uh, let's see, what's next? What did I think of the title, poster, or trailer? Uh, I remember I was at home sick one day um, and I couldn't sleep anymore. I'd been sleeping a lot when I, you know, stumbled upon this movie. I had wanted to watch something kind of quirky, you know, to cheer me up, but I was also in a very kind of sci fi mood. Um, I saw the picture for this movie, Timer. And then I read the description, and then I thought, why not? The poster itself, or the picture that I saw on Netflix, didn't really pull me into this movie. But it caught my eye because it was a very kind of plain, simple-looking movie poster um, jumbled in with all these other traditional sci-fi images. I honestly thought the movie had, mis had been misclassified, but it wasn't. Um, and that was when I became interested in watching it. So let's see. What did I think of the main characters and how the actors performed them? Most of the actors in this film I've seen in other stuff and they're pretty good. Um, I don't think anyone in this film is really considered an A-lister, but um, maybe Emma Caulfield. I don't keep up with my celebrity so I don't know how high her status is, but like I knew of her before anyone else in the film when I saw this movie. Also, I don't know if it was the nature of this story or something else, but none of the performances in this movie really stood out. And I mean, as being above average or below average, it was just kind of average. It was a very, um, it was a very average, though unique and enjoyable performance. When it comes to the characters the actors portray, I gotta say, honestly, I didn't really like these people. I, it's not that I disliked them, don't get me wrong, they weren't bad people. I just don't think these would be the kind of people that I would personally hang out with. Um, they kind of complain a lot, and they pretty much put all of their faith or you know, their life decisions in the timer and other technology of their time. Um, but there were a few characters that I liked. Um, Mickey, or Mikey, Mickey, yeah, I can't remember. The main guy, Mickey, and I liked the Morales family. I thought they added a nice um, cultural aspect and also some, you know, quirky comedy there. And then there was Dan, and I think the main reason why I liked Dan was because I felt sorry for him. So, those are the characters. What did I think of the direction and cinematography? Well, this is actually a little difficult for me to explain, so just kind of bear with me. Um, most romantic comedies, uh, to me anyway, have like a certain feel to them. 
Um, you can predict when something is going to happen. You can almost make a guess as the type of the mu music that will appear in particular scenes. You know, hopefully you know where I'm going with that. But I'm glad to see that that wasn't the case with this film. Um, I think because it is a sci-fi romantic comedy, it you know it got rid of some of that that stuff that you just always expect to see. It came off very non cookie cutter and trite. That was good. Uh, let's see. What did I think of the soundtrack and score? I liked the soundtrack of this movie, but I don't think there was a score. If there was, I didn't pay much attention to it. Um, the only time I can think that there might have been like some music in the background that was probably composed for the scene is during the um, maybe the birthday scene. But again, it didn't stand out to me. Uh, most of the music in this movie is um it has very like a rock punk alternative kind of feel to it the songs or were either sweet songs or they were kind of hard songs or they were had a very indie sound to them so they were kind of all over the place which for me is a good thing uh let's see what did i think about the story as a whole i liked the dilemma una had throughout the story of not knowing if she had a soulmate and also, I can appreciate the emotional and moral questions that technology like this, you know, would bring up. Um, if you could know the exact moment you were going to meet your soulmate, would you want to or should you want to know? Um, this isn't the first movie to, you know, bring up questions about whether or not our lives are run by destiny or if we make our own destiny. But I like the approach they made in this film. So what did I not like about the story? I didn't like the fact that the main focus was on Una while her stepsister's dilemma was just as interesting and I felt like maybe they could have explored that a little bit more. Uh, would I recommend this movie to others? Maybe. If so, who and what would I rate this movie? Well, considering what kids are able to see on TV these days, I really don't think I would go out of my way to stop them from watching this if it happened to be on, but it is geared towards adults. Um, younger children won't even be able to grasp the technical and emotional concepts of this film. Um, it does have an R rating, so if I'm recommending it to someone, they're going to be 18 years or older. On a scale of one to five, I think that I would have to give this film three reels. And the reason is that um, it's not that I didn't love this film. Well, let me let me change that. I didn't love this film, but I definitely did not hate this film. I'm glad I watched it. I enjoyed it, but it's not something that I'm gonna it's, it's not gonna be a reoccurring thing for me to watch you know most movies if I love them I, I make a tradition of watching them at certain times throughout the year if I find a movie that I really like um, and I find out that it's on somewhere I'm like oh I'll check it out you know if you know I'm gonna be like at a party and they're like oh we're gonna all watch a movie together I may recommend it but for this type of film um, it's not that I wouldn't recommend it if someone said, you know, I'm tired of the same old, same old romantic comedies, I want to see something a little different, oh, I would definitely recommend it for that. But this isn't a movie that I'm just going to go out and strike up a conversation about. So that's why the three movie reels. And lastly, was there anything about this movie that could be related to me or anything that I've written? Well, I have recently taken on the task of giving romance some serious thought, um, trying to published my first romance called It's Like the Full Moon and I have been learning a lot from movies especially since a lot of the story plot and themes from the book that I'm writing come from some films that I've seen but I don't think there was anything in particular that I took from this film and not really sure I think the only theme in this story that kinda relates to anything that I've written or, or maybe the aspects of you know the whole destiny thing does destiny rule our lives or do we make our own destiny so but I like, like I said the movie was entertaining so I got that from it well that 
seemed like a mouthful. I hope that wasn't too painful. Um, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this Toy Box movie review of Timer and hope that you will join me again for more reviews down the road. Um, my next Toy Box movie review will be Unbreakable and I'm probably going to geek out a little bit on that one. Have you seen this movie? Even if you haven't, you can follow me on YouTube and tell me what you think of it. You can use the hashtag ToyBoxMovies and you'll have a chance to be featured in my next episode. On Monday, I will be um, posting an episode of my command station and I kind of have a guest so I won't just be talking about me it'll be good and remember if you're ever interested in guest hosting or sponsoring a toy box webisode you can visit etoythomas.com to learn more about that so until next time this is Toy Thomas saying that I believe that authors are just important to the world of entertainment as music groups and movie stars see ya